I don't walk across my... Uh, never mind. Hello guys, welcome back to Car Obsession and of course, welcome to another episode of Pit Stop Sunday. My word, life has been frantic recently. Uh, I'm back at work now, working quite long hours uh, in quite a fast paced and stressful role. Uh, I work at a, um, a local car repair garage, I do the customer service side of things and yeah we have been manic. Uh, I've been flat out some days and not even had the chance to have a lunch break. Uh, on top of that Patsy is in hospital, she has been all week. Uh, so as you can imagine that's been quite mentally uh, and emotionally draining on me. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, she will come out tomorrow. Uh, and on top of that, when I've been working, I've had to come home and I've been doing all the housework. Uh, that's not to say that I don't do it normally, but obviously you know, Patsy and I, we, we share tasks and uh, I'm having to do everything and of course look after the cats which are actually in here. Isn't that right girlies? Yes, quite a, to, to sum up, a lot has been going on in my life. Uh, and on top of that, I've booked in a few more press cars, which is always exciting stuff. Now, it's been a while since I've updated you on um, cars coming my way, so I'm not too sure what I have or haven't told you about. Um, so I told you about the Hyundai i10. Um, that's now booked in, I think. But I can't remember when. Did that get booked in? I don't know, life has been all over the place recently. Uh, so you know, you know, you know that the Hyundai i10 is coming at some point. Of course, you know about the Caterham. Um, what else have I told you about? The Suzuki Swift Sports Hybrid. Um, I think that may be it. Um, sure there was another car. Anyway. Um, oh, the Leon. The Seat Leon. Yes, oh, the Leon. That has actually uh, been pushed back a bit because of the car I was meant to get um, has been damaged. So they need to obviously need to get that sorted before they can get the car out to me. So it is still coming, but I think that's now going to be towards the end of September. Uh, I've got the Swift Sport Hybrid coming tomorrow, in fact, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be in interesting to see my thoughts on it because on paper, I think it's a car that doesn't really make sense, but that's a different topic for another time. Um, so what have I booked in? Um, so I have booked in the new Honda Jazz Crosstar. I know, exciting, right? Although I must admit the new Honda Jazz does look pretty good. Uh, I've not really read into it that much, but um, on, on face value, the, the looks alone, I think it does look like quite a good car. Um, I'd love to see them make uh, a Type R version, but I think that's very unlikely to happen anytime soon. So yes, that's booked in. I've now rebooked in the Ford Puma. Uh, that is coming in September. I believe. Um, I'm yet to book in the, uh, rebook in the Peugeot 208 and the Vauxhall Corsa um, because uh, the PSA group, they're just trying to sort things out uh, kind of, well, I was going to say post uh, coronavirus, but of course we are still in this rather tricky situation, but things are uh, of course getting a little bit better slowly but surely. So yes, um, hopefully I'll get those rebooked in. Uh, what else have I booked in? What else have I booked in? I may have actually have to consult my calendar um, because I'm struggling to think off the top of my head. Um, please hold. 2,000 years later. Right, I've just ch checked my calendar. Uh, I've also got the brand new Nissan Duke booked in. Now uh, that'd be interesting. Uh, if I'm honest, like many people, I thought the original model was quite horrible and horrid looking, but the new model does look a lot better, although I suppose that isn't really that difficult. Mind you, you know what I say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So um, design is and will always be subjective. So I've got that coming, I'm quite looking forward to that. It's been a while since I've had a Nissan actually. Um, I've got the Kia Xceed um, PHEV coming, so that's the uh, um, electric one, the, the hybrid one. But more excitingly, I have booked in one of these, an Audi RS Q3. Now, as you may know, I've had a few Audis on the channel. Um, I've had the A5, the A1, the TTS, the S4 and the S6. Have there been any others? Well, there have been, but none that I've actually spent time with for a week. Um, but I'm yet to get a fully fledged RS model until now. Um, 
So I'm really excited about this, uh, to have the opportunity to spend a week with an Audi RS model. Um, yeah, it is truly amazing and I'm really, really grateful, um, particularly as I'm not a, a particularly large YouTuber. So to have the, the chance to drive something with that amount of performance um, is, yeah, um, that is very, very exciting. So the Audi RS Q3. So there's two models available. You've got the, the standard car and you've also got the Sportback, which I'm sure you would have seen uh, quite a lot on YouTube. Uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Joe Achilles has uh, reviewed one, Petrol Ped has reviewed one, uh, Steph AB has reviewed one, and there will be other YouTubers that um, you will see that have uh, tested the car and filmed with it. Now, I'm not, I'm not getting the Sportback, I'm getting the, the standard model, so um, the roof line is a bit higher, and the car as a whole just looks a little bit bigger. Um, but hey, it's still a good looking car. Yes, the Sportback is uh, a bit better looking, in my opinion at least, but hey, I, would, I can never say that, that the standard car is an absolute minger because that is, mm, that is a handsome beast. So what kind of performance does it offer? It has a 2.5 litre turbocharged five cylinder petrol engine, which offers no less than 400 horsepower along with 480 newton meters of torque. That power is fed to all four wheels using a um, seven speed uh, S-Tronic gearbox, I believe, or is it, is it the Tiptronic? No, I'm pretty sure it's the S-Tronic. I'll have to confirm that actually. Um, of course, it's got Audi's famous uh, Quattro all wheel drive. Um, and yeah, that thing is going to be rapid. I think it will, it will hit 62 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. That is truly amazing, particularly for an SUV. That is a crazy amount of speed. And the top speed is of course limited to 155 miles per hour. However, if you pay the very nice guys at Audi a bit more money, uh, the speed limiter can be increased to, I believe, 174 miles per hour. But as with Audi, that will be quite an expensive option. Actually, on, on the topic of that, it'd be interesting to see the, the car I get given a four week, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see the specification on it. Um, because a lot, of the, a lot of cars that Audi send out to people like me, they're always specced up um, really high. I remember I drove uh, an RS4 uh, last year, I think, or was it the year before? Anyway, doesn't really matter. Um, and the, that particular car I drove, it had almost twenty thousand pounds worth of options. Twenty thousand pounds just on options. That is insane. That that will you can go out and buy a, a, a very good Ford Fiesta for that. Um, yeah, actually, could you buy like a base level Focus potentially? But you can, my point is you can buy a lot of cars, whether they're brand new or used, for around £20,000. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much money has been thrown at the RS Q3 I get given, uh, and also what colour it is. I know it sounds really weird, but the last two Audis I've had, they've both been Tango Red. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what colour I get. I must admit, that, that is quite nice. Is that Tango Red? Not too sure. Looks. No, I don't think it is. It looks a bit darker, it looks a bit more richer, uh, a bit deeper. Either way, it's a very nice car and a very nice colour. So, yeah, that is really uh, the update in regard to press cars coming my way and onto your screens. So, um, let's summarise. Uh, so, yeah, the Swift Sport Hybrid, the RSQ3, the RSQ3 is actually coming straight after the Swift Sport, uh, the Ford Puma, Set Leon, the Hyundai i10, this is no in, in no particular order now, uh, the Nissan Juke and the Honda Jazz Crosstar. Um, and of course, I'm still looking to get more cars booked in. And I'm also looking to get owner's cars booked in as well because I want to um, get your car feature to come back stronger than ever. But of course, it's still a little bit too early, in my opinion at least, to be filming in other people's cars. I know some YouTubers have been and that's their choice, but for me, I just think it's still a bit too soon. Um, although I suppose you could get around it uh, 
by wearing gloves and face masks. Uh, I've seen driving instructors in my area do that. But of course, when you've got a mask on it, it kind of muffles your voice. So I don't think that would work particularly well. So get to your car featured will come back. Um, and if you do want to get your car featured or you know someone that has an interesting car, doesn't have to be modified, just has to be interesting in some shape or form, then please do get in touch. Yes, Ruby? Can I help you? Are you going to just sit on my printer? No, you're going to walk across my laptop. Where are you going? You're going to go, you're going to go back the way you came. Huh? Silly cat. Um, yeah, I don't think I have, I don't really think I, ha I have anything else to update you on. Um, so this should be, well, this part of the video has been relatively, relatively by my standards, short. Um, now, last week I wasn't able to go through any of your comments, so I want to uh, I want to fix that this week and go through some of the lovely comments you've left over the last two weeks or so. Uh, so let's dive on in. Dive on in. So we kick off with a regular viewer. Um, his username is Henry Hole eight five three eight, and he commented on my five things I like about my Mark One Mazda MX Five video, and he has put. It's good to see your enthusiasm for your MX-5. I have a soft spot for the owl-faced brand as my first car was a rear-wheel drive 323 Estate. So thank you, Henry. Of course, I've got lots of I've got lots of enthusiasm for Monique, my mark on MX-5 and MX-5s in general, as you may know. In fact, I've got an MX-5 magazine just to my left there. Oh, that camera's going to die shortly. Okay, brilliant. That's got a new battery in it, so. That's, that's disappointing. Anyway, on to the next comment. Right, so next one is from um, Ultra Jaff. You do get some interesting names on here. So let's find his comment. So he actually commented on my video. Uh, this is quite an old video actually, of my first drive of the brand new Kia Succeed. No, Exceed, sorry. You'll understand why I said succeed in a few moments. Uh, so, that camera's just gone off, brilliant. I'll need to prepare a new battery for it. Um, so yes, uh, Ultra Draft, uh, he or she uh, commented on my video, or the first drive video of the Kia Exceed, and uh, they've put, that's what budgies do, succeed. <laughs> a very cheesy joke, but it tickled me, and I, I enjoyed the comment, so. I thought I'd um, add that in, and basically, I, I, I had a play on words in the title of the video and said, good enough to succeed, because it's Kia Seed. My joke was just as bad, uh, but still. Someone that gets my uh, cheesy sense of humor. Brilliant. Right, on to the next topic. Um, ah, yes. Well, this will be a difficult one to find, because her username is extremely short. So this YouTube viewer, um, that has a name, that is simply M. That's it, just M. I don't know if it's uh, M out of James Bond, who knows. Um, but they've put, so, so this is on my set to Racco walkaround video. They put uh, taking, uh, taking delivery of the 1.5 litre in this trim uh, level in a couple of weeks. Thank you so much for this, very informative. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your work for protecting our country, if you are the real M even though M is a fictional character. But anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, always great to get comments like that. As I said before, um, if I can make car reviews that, that help people make an informed decision when buying a car, then that's fantastic. Aha, we have life. Right, on to the next, the next comment, which is from uh, Mountain Biker Paul. Uh, he commented on my uh, video of, of the shock announcement of the garage update video and um, he's put I was literally reading through my latest copy of soft top hard top there we go um, same copy as the one sitting on your unit that one um, and reaching page 68 I thought to myself I recognize this guy I had to search through my YouTube history to find you but have now subscribed that's fantastic, that's really good. Um, to be honest, I, I don't write articles for the magazine to really get more people to the channel, but if it does, hey, that's an added bonus, isn't it? So that is fantastic. 
Uh, so next up is from a viewer by the name of Chris Sodin, who I believe, yep, he's a uh, subscriber. And he's actually, he's actually uh, commented on quite a few of my videos. So he has given the, the channel uh, a fair amount of support. So thank you, Chris. Uh, in this particular instance, he commented on my throwback review of the Seat Leon, uh, my Seat Leon, otherwise known as Leo. Um, he's got great video, you nailed it. Yay, thank you, mate. That means a lot to me. So a lot of video, a lot of um, work did go into that video, and that was that was really difficult to film because on the day I filmed it, it was incredibly windy, and that's that posed uh, quite a large challenge for audio. Um, next up is a comment on the same video, albeit from a different viewer. And again, this is a, a regular viewer. Uh, I've I've highlighted one of their comments before. Uh, you, YouTube um, username is. Hip finds. I do hope I've pronounced that correct. Um, and they've put production value has stepped up a notch. Well done. So thank you very much. I, I'm always trying to to give you guys the the best kind of production I can. Of course, there are other channels out there that are slicker, more polished. But I don't have a, a I don't have a production team. I don't have an editing team. Literally, I film the majority of everything myself, and I edit everything I do. So I am kind of a a one-man band, so to speak. Um, I do have a few fe feathers in my cap. One would say a jack of all trades, but master of none. Um, <laughs> right, on to the next comment. Uh, so this is from a viewer by the name of Steve-O. He has commented on my uh, Audi S4 Avant versus BMW 335D touring video. And that video has actually got a lot of attention. Uh, sadly, uh, it's got, also got quite a lot of dislikes. I'm not really too sure why. Maybe because the video is too long or people were expecting me to be co comparing the S4 to the brand new equivalent of the 335D, which uh, to my knowledge hasn't actually been released yet. But anyway, um, he's put uh, BMW as in he'd have the BMW. And he's then put that, G, that cheese grater on the S4, referring to the front grill. Um, and that, that made me laugh, so that's why I've included that. Um, I, I've no, I never really noticed that design aspect until it's been raised, and I don't think I can ever look at that front grill ever again. But I did actually respond to him, and I said, a laughing face emoji, could be worse, it could have the grill of the new 4 Series. Uh, right, next up. So we have three left. I know, I know I've gone through a lot of comments, but I'm, I'm making up for last week. Uh, so the next one is, is, is again from uh, um, a long-standing subscriber and a frequent commenter. Uh, their YouTube um, username is Ambient Infinity Music. And uh, I'm surprised I haven't highlighted their comments before because they do comment quite often. But in this instance, they've um, commented on the video where I spoke about why did I sell Olaf, my JDM EP3 Civic Type R. Uh, and they put Olaf is a great name. My old panda was called Miranda. I like that, Miranda the panda. Good, like it. Uh, my current jazz is simply known as the Silver Tardis. What a great name for a car, the Silver Tardis. It's, it's, it's certainly a good way to make your Honda jazz sound more exciting. Um, so thank you for that, thank you for your support. Uh, and that leaves us with two more. Right, so the next comment isn't actually one on a video, it was on a photo that I put onto the YouTube community page, um, and it's from Feel The Drive, who again is a long-term subscriber and supporter, thank you. Um, he's put, what an upgrade, sleeker, sexier, and pop-up headlights, and for reference, I will pop the photo that he is referring to right now, so you can make sense of that comment. And that leaves us with one more. So this was on my, uh, quite an old video, but a video that still gets quite a bit of attention now and then. Uh, and this is when I was speaking about driving gloves, which is a very divisive topic. Some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, this doesn't really be, it doesn't appear to be that many people that are kind of on the fence. Uh, but uh, a username by the name of Liam Flanagan uh, has put, very cool, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, got to get a pair, thanks. So Liam, thank you so much for watching and thank you for, for your comment. And that's that done. Um, so as always, guys, please send in your comments um, and send in, send in your love. It's, it's always greatly appreciated. Um, let me know what you think about the, the current press cars I've got booked in. And guys, if there's a particular car you want me to try and review, 
please let me know. I, I, I'm not in a position yet where I can where I can pick and choose any car. I, I, I can't just go up to uh, a press. Uh, I can't I can't just walk up to a car manufacturer and demand a car. But I would certainly try um, to get a car if there's one you'd like me to to test. But it may be a little bit difficult. Uh, but I think that's enough from me in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you have enjoyed it, please um, like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.